In the spirit of Great Britain's best cars, we're gonna bring in the Rolls Royce in the rain. Still smells like a boat in here. Please start. Wow. She's on it today. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Chair Go, and as you can see, I am far more wealthy than I've ever been in my life because I drive a Rolls Royce. Actually, I don't, I don't think anything changed. I just traded a cheap BMW for a Rolls Royce. Anyway, this is the $1,400 Rolls Royce, 1979 Rolls Royce Silver Wraith II, and Josh and I are going to destroy it. People, I think people are gonna be big mad, but I'm not worried about that. There will be no attention paid to any comments about this. There is one plan for this car. I bought it to take it to Cletus and Cars on February 15th in Houston and do burnouts. There was no other plan. We were not gonna save this terrible, like everything's broken. Parts availability is nonsense. It all comes from Great Britain. A lot of it's like re-handmade. Forget all of that. This thing really could, yeah, I mean, it would take, what, what do you think? If we put a dollar figure on saving it, oh. probably 200. Huh. I, I bet it's a 200 range restoration. That's tough math. It is, just, just the fact that like the fenders are full of uh, Bondo and like the top is rusted and would need to be like completely refinished and all of the paint is trash and the engine needs probably rebuilt top to bottom and the entire braking system's gone. And, and then what do you have? It? $20,000 car. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. It might maybe. be worth 30, 20, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so today we're gonna try not to do any actual work on the car. We don't wanna start pulling the engine yet. We're gonna measure everything today. We're gonna measure the transmission. We're gonna measure the engine, our engine mounts. We're gonna measure our radiator mounting because we gotta cool this thing. We gotta figure out where to put a trans cooler. We, we gotta figure out what to do with the roof. Archeological dig on this roof. Yeah, well I guess we could get the putty knife out and trash the roof. Uh, we're gonna clean it out because there's a bunch of trash in it, so you guys get to enjoy our the findings. We're gonna go on that treasure hunt inside the car, and uh, and then we're gonna start doing a little planning, start doing a little math, and as uh, a lot of people predicted, we're gonna do what a lot of people predicted. Oh. Yeah, so you can adjust it with your finger. Ah, oh, yes, you can adjust where it sprays on your windshield. This one's just missing the cap. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is cool. I hope the wipers work when we're done with this because we do have to drive it nine hours straight after we get this done. Yeah. Does it come with a AAA? I don't know, uh, but when we call AAA and say I need this 6,000 pound car hauled back to Wichita. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to wiping all this water off because it's, it's been sitting out in the rain. You know? English car. We have the entire car quickly wiped down, as you can see. It's a lot better. We were literally just pulling dirt off of the painted surfaces and stuff. And Josh is on a mission here, just trashing all the junk under the hood before we start collecting all of the random stuff that's in the car into a box. We quickly wiped out some of the jams too, and they kind of cleaned up, so that's impressive. Did a little bit of work back here. You can see the silver's back. It was all just Everything was just covered in dirt, absolutely covered. The cool part is all the door switches work and all the lights in the doors work. So I'm gonna try to maintain all of the factory harness for all the lights and all that good stuff, because obviously I want it to still be a Rolls Royce, just with a reliable engine. So here's our box, let's get to it. Still grinding away here. 
Uh, already though, you can see there's a massive improvement. Let's... Wow, more pictures of the car probably. An ASC transmission warranty. Huh. No! <laughs> Is this standard equipment? What'd you find? A <laughs> Grey Poupon, just, and fuses. Wow. Does it have a Rolls Royce logo on it somewhere? Yeah, that's a good question, I actually. Got the double R on the bottom. I don't want to hold this anymore because you can see it's like absolutely expired. Check it out, check it out. This trans had a six month, 6,000 mile warranty. In 2001, the transmission was rebuilt and the mileage was 156 then. So it's only been driven like, what, I don't maybe 1,000 miles since then. And there is also a work order in here from Independence, Kansas, where they did the ignition coil, spark plugs, EGR pipe, donut ring, a bunch of cleaning. It was full of bad fuel, disconnected fuel lines, removed fuel tank from vehicle, cleaned out fuel tank. Mm, I bet it needs it again though. Yeah. <laughs> Reoccurring problem. That was literally 18 years ago. And we were like, oh yeah, the fuel tank was just clean. That was the story I heard. <laughs> Here, as you may or may not know, is the Rolls Smoke. Got something. That's a fish. It's beautiful. Uh, let's see. We should call this the Rolls Smoke Spirit of, how do you spell it? Rexacy. Now for our plan. We will draw this car. The scale, of course. The scale. You need a graphic to work on that. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to think of how it looks. Okay, we got the spirit of ecstasy right there. That's the most important part. Grill and bumper. Well, I had a rear bumper. Well, cut off with the exhaust. Beautiful. Okay, some wheels. And these are these wheels are incredibly rare. Five by one thirty or something. It's a giant. It's a, the worst pattern you could ever have on a wheel. It's double A arm though, so we do have the double A arm. Uh, let's draw an engine here. We got a, we got a little engine. Well, I don't know. We'll just we'll just draw a square because I can't engine. <laughs> LS6. Nice. In the trunk, I'll just draw another box and I will put fuel. What's the bottle for? Ah, I'm glad you asked. Nitrous outlets nitrous system that already has a plate on this LS6. Huh. So I'll put a little valve on there and uh, put the N2O. So if it's not funny enough, we'll just add some laughing gas. That's right. What else would we do? Okay, so we got a window. Because uh, you call me Chip Foos, as you can see. Uh, that looks like a Humvee. <laughs> uh, once I add in this window, Oh, there you go. Now it doesn't look like a Humvee. Okay, so that is the uh, Rolls Smoke Spirit of Rex to see. And all we need here is uh, between this LS and, and the fuel system, a probably a replacement TH400. We need a strong one. I didn't know these came with the 400. Yeah, it's a basically a, a GM beast with a Bentley engine. That's what they put behind big blocks, so that should be enough. Should should be. So now the only thing we're missing in our wonderful drawing here is clouds. Those are hopefully not to scale. Yeah, I'm hoping the clouds actually end up covering <laughs> the entire paper and then we pulled it off. I think it's the point of Cletus and Cars, right? Yep. That's more oh, smoke. But here's the, our one event. 2, 15, 2020. Cletus and Cars. That's very soon. Uh, because I'm Chip Foos, I gotta... You sign it? Nice. Here, perfect. Oh yeah. Signed. And that's basically all we need, right? Like the rest of this, it, I, all the electronics work. Honestly, almost every electronic thing except for the rear driver window. What Nobody's else? Out. Nope. The antenna, we didn't test that. That's essential. Yeah, but... the antenna doesn't work. I tried the radio. Oh. The bottom radio works great. The top radio doesn't do anything. Dual radios. Dual radios, and two stations at one time. And the rear suspension is 31 inch King remote reservoir shocks because you have to throw away all the hydraulic garbage and uh, it's supposed to ride really, really nice. Huge shout out to Corbin Goodwin, the master of destroying these bad boys. <laughs> he turboed this thing and made this awesome car that stops well, is fast. <laughs> turboed the Bentley engine 
And then, uh, you know, it's it's just, it's a work of art. Not only do we uh, fix cars in here, we also do crafts. Ah, uh, yes, this is how they attach all the factory badges. I could see a little bit, like, squirting out on the side here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I knew we were on the Yeah, we, we actually knew how the factory did this the whole time. Time to get the hood off of the Rolls Royce. You must do this, you know, with precision and and express the hood away from the Rolls Royce. Hey, she just let go. We gotta replace all these bolts. I forgot that we don't have a place for it. <laughs> We could modify that for the factory airbox. We should. Or throttle body. Because this is insane. This is clearly like an airplane part right there. It's like cast aluminum. Dorman. No, it didn't. <laughs> Get out of here. Everybody's like, no. Color me impressed. <laughs> well, we've got a good looking air filter and a, it's a really, really cool airbox. Oh yeah, you can see there's a... Yep, a oh. duct that goes down to the ground. Straight down. There's our box of parts out of the interior of the car. The Rolls is looking more like a real project already. The hood is off, up on the roof. Look at this, we have access to the engine. I got back in here, did a little bit of cleaning. We got plenty of cleaning to go. Uh, I mean, obviously we're gonna paint the whole bay, but we've learned a lot today. So, as you can see, car's up in the air. Let's slide underneath it and check it out. Interesting things, four mufflers, right? There's two right there, two right here. And over here, we have Cat 1, Cat 2. We do have, of course, the first generation drive-by-wire sauce right here. Just shift-by-wire, really. And uh, that shifts the transmission. I don't know if we're gonna be able to maintain that. We may have to throw it away. The exhaust is absolutely wild with this big crossover pipe here. Uh, the oil pan looks like it probably holds 70,000 quarts of oil. And moving towards the differential, we can see this hilarious little pump and some very, very bad wiring and there's that fuel filter, that little Spectre fuel filter. It's packed with dirt, completely full of dirt. So that would explain why it was uh, running really well when I first picked it up, and 40 miles later, it would barely run at all. First of all, the exhaust coming out of the back is absolutely beautiful. I wanna maintain those tips, even if we just fake it, because we have another plan for the exhaust. I thought this was a solid axle car. It is IRS, so we've got a huge pumpkin right here, tons of bracing and support, and then we have these CVs that are, I mean, they're this big around. That is a CV, uh, you could do IRS on a truck with that thing, it's so big. Uh, the fuel filter, packed with dirt, completely packed with dirt. So that is a lot of the cool stuff we've learned today, and uh, there's more of those insane sway bar links up here. Those are so huge. More good news, the wheel bearings seem good. Look at the discoloration on the windows. That's amazing. I think that might be in the tent. It's been an hour. I think I have all the dimensions documented, at least everything we need to. Radiator, fuel tank, how long the engine is, where the LS should sit, all that good stuff. The TH400 size, uh, 31 inches on that. I think that's the long tail shaft. Uh, yeah, so I've been taking notes, measuring everything for a long time here. Drive shaft, CV sizes, all that fun stuff. We've got it all down, and now it's time to go uh, well, it's time to pull the engine because we just got to get that out of our way so we can actually get to work in here. Tomorrow, we'll start pulling the engine out and the roll smoke will be one step closer to making lots of smoke. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjrgo.com, check out the merch, find something you like and uh, maybe pick up a shirt. Uh, we'll get a shirt going for this thing too. It deserves its own shirt. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do and I will talk to you next time. Huge shout out to Corbin and the wizard. The wizard also had one of these, of course, so he's talking me through uh, the TH400. I guess it's not standard. Uh, we're learning things really, really, really fast. The subframe's in the way. We're gonna have to section the subframe. We're gonna have to custom build engine mounts because this thing only is supported like here and on the trans, but uh, we'll go into detail. I'll show you guys all of that as we get this thing going. But uh, I mean, huge thank you to all the tech support coming from people.